Hi everyone! Um, my name is Elizabeth, this is Frizzy Lizzy Stitches, and this is Fosti number 46. Yeah, 46. <laughs> the numbers are getting so big now that I keep forgetting what number we're on. <laughs> So um, today is Friday, June the 16th, 2023, and it's been two weeks since my last update, and I have like a lot to show you because these past two weeks have been quite the whirlwind. Um, I feel like so much has happened, and I barely like had time to just like be a lazy bum, <laughs> which is what my norm is. So anyway, but I've had the time of my life the past couple weeks. And I'm excited to share some of that with you today. So, um, first off, we can appreciate how cute Wilson looks. Wilson! Hey. He heard something. Anyway. Hey, come here. The people want to see your beautiful face. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Anyway. So, <laughs> um, I am in the same spot as my last video mainly because I was too lazy to bring out the ring light and I have I have a lot of stuff to show and I have about an hour before I need to leave the house because I get to pick up my wedding dress today um, so that's really exciting but um, it takes me like an hour to get over there and my appointments at like 11 so I gotta get going I'm making this video so anyway um, I don't even know where to start, y'all. Seriously. <laughs> um, I think we're... I think I'm gonna go through my normal routine and then um, talk about StitchCon um, after I go through all the whips and things. Um, it'll probably be... I feel like most of them... I definitely have some haul that's not StitchCon, but... Um, anyway, we'll figure it out as we go. So, <laughs> um, but yeah. So, pretty much been up to... Stitch Con, and then uh, still playing lots of Zelda and doing a little bit of wedding things. Um, so, yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, I think we're just gonna get into the projects now before I like say a bunch of useless information. <laughs> okay, so the I didn't bring, let's see, I brought several projects with me to Stitch Con, but I only worked on like three cross stitch one embroidery and then I actually started a knitting project so we'll get into that as well but the first thing that I worked on was um stitch con by Sue Hillis um it looks like this and this was the like stitch con exclusive chart for last year um as you can see it says 2022 on there <laughs> um and I started this like in August last year and this is where I'm at now Oh, let me move this out of the way. Move it down here. Um, yeah, here's where I am. So I brought this with me because number one, it's StitchCon. And number two, it was like pretty, one of the closest things I have to a finish. And I kind of knew that I wasn't going to really finish it because there's just other stuff I wanted to work on. So, but I did stitch on this while I was there the first day. Um, and I think I put in like this little ball of yarn and then finished filling in this little scroll frame um, and then did like the back stitch on it. So not really too much different from what it would have looked like last time I showed it to you, but still some decent progress. Um, I think I only worked on this for like an hour and a half. Um, but yeah, I mostly, I spent most of my stitch con working on my Taylor Swift jacket, so You'll see lots of progress on that one. But anyway, that is how my stitch con is looking. Um, hopefully I can finish it before it's whip birthday. Um, just because this project really isn't that big and it really shouldn't be taking me this long, but here we are. <laughs> okay, and then um, the next thing, I worked on this I think on Friday maybe, but this is Castle Homecoming by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And um, I started this, this is a stitch along. Oh no, there it goes. Um, this is a stitch along hosted by um, Frost the Pumpkin. And um, only one part has been released so far. And this is what it's gonna look like. 
and this is what it would have looked like last time I showed it to you and this is what mine looks like now so um I'm stitching mine on 40 count I didn't tell you on the stitch con one either my stitch con I'm stitching on 40 count I don't actually know what the color is called but it's a picture of this plus this is also a picture of this plus 40 count and it's this one is called valor uh, which is the call for color for this chart and yeah so I finished the little unicorn because before it just had the unicorn just had a head and so now she's got some a body and some legs and a tail um, super cute and I worked on this for like two hours basically so and then that same day um, the new part of Greenhouse of Oddities came out which I didn't start on but I did that's the next project I'm going to show you so all right, so Greenhouse of Oddities, um, another stitch along that's happening right now. Um, it is, I think, let's see, we have, oh, well, actually, I think the fourth, is it fourth or fifth? One of the next plantings is actually supposed to be released today, um, but that'll be this afternoon, so I don't know what it looks like, but this is what it looks like. I guess by the time I edit this video, you'll see the new stuff, so... Here's what it's gonna look like. <laughs> and then um, this is what it would've looked like last time I showed it to you. And then this is what mine looks like now. So um, I basically, at StitchCon, I basically did this whole little corpse flower and then did a bunch of the greenery over here. Um, but I worked on this for, oh, I did work on this a lot. Um, before StitchCon, and I kind of forgot about that. So before StitchCon, I think I did like, maybe, you know what? I don't even know what the last picture looked like. I, You do, because I just showed it, but anyway, I think I stitched a lot of this like cactus tree thing in the owl. No, I had the owl last time, because I remember mentioning about the back stitch. So maybe I just did more of this cactus, I don't know. But anyway. Cause it's a, I put I wrote down that I was stitched on this for five and a half hours, and I really just don't think it took me that five and a half hours to stitch this, but maybe it did. Cause this flower is like four hundred to five hundred stitches, so who knows? But anyway, and this adorable little needle minder was um, passed out by one of the girls at StitchCon uh, weekend A, and I was I've always kind of wanted one of those little scrabble tile needle minders, and now I have one, so. <laughs> And um, this fabric is 36 count um, box and rabbit called oyster shell, and I'm stitching two over two. So, all right. Um, okay, so next up is my Taylor Swift jacket, and I made lots of progress on it. So on f Friday, I. Um, finished Lover, and then basically the rest of the weekend I stitched Folklore. So here is how my jacket is looking. It looks so good. So I, uh, like I said, I finished Lover on Friday, and I did a bunch of, like, I outlined it with a straight stitch, or back stitch, or whatever, and then um, I whipped it, so... I guess like the, the light pink around the border of the word is a whipped back stitch. And then the inside like darker pink fill in, I did couching. So that made it kind of faster to fill in and gave it a really cool texture. And then for folklore, I just did satin stitch again, but this time I actually like outlined the letters with back stitch before um, doing satin stitch over that. And I think it made it a little more crisp. So, but yeah, that's how the jacket is coming. And then I, um, this week I tried to start on Evermore, but I only got an E done. So, but I'm doing it the same way I did Folklore, because they're the same font and whatnot. But yeah, the jacket's coming along. Um, I'm basically on track. Um, I think I have like two and a half, three, yep. Yeah. 
basically two weeks, I guess, after this weekend um, to get this finished. So hopefully I can knock out a lot of Evermore this weekend. And then next week I can do Midnight's. And then that last week leading up to the concert, I can do like some detail stuff because um, on the front of the jacket, I want to use those cute little letter beads to somehow spell out, maybe like in this area right here, um, spell out Cincinnati, Ohio on one side and then um, like July 1st, 2023 on this side. And then I also time permitting I kind of want to do like a blanket stitch around like the cuff of the sleeves and maybe even the cuff of the bottom of the jacket um, just to give it some extra like flair I guess because right now like all the um, cool stuff is on the back and so I kind of want to add some detail stuff um, around the front sort of just so that it doesn't just look from the front just look like a plain denim jacket you know so that's kind of my thoughts because um doing those things won't take nearly as long as like embroidering all these titles um and then of course too i'm gonna have to do the wash away stuff so that all this extra stabilizer goes away but it's gonna be so cool and then um i feel like if Depending on what the secret songs are for the concert I go to, I might afterwards embroider some of the lyrics from those songs on the jacket. Um, I would love to incorporate some other lyrics on here but before the concert, but I just don't have time. So I'm going to just stick to uh, finishing albums and then maybe doing, like I just talked about, like the letter beats and stuff. So that's my plan. But um, I'm going to be so excited to wear it and people comment on it and be like, I did this myself. <laughs> so anyway, but that's my Taylor Swift jacket. That was definitely, was like the bulk of my weekend. I feel like I did like three letters a day um, over the weekend for to get folklore done. Cause I literally finished um, the E on folklore on Sunday. <laughs> so very quickly, I forgot to show you. Um, so one of you had asked what kind of needles I'm using for my Taylor Swift jacket. Um, and I'm literally using this random pack of Singer hand needles that I already had from forever ago. And as you can see over here, they kind of say like which kinds of needles they are. And so I'm just using the ones from the embroidery, um, section. And there were two there and they're not in there because I'm using them. So I have them on this needle minder, um, for my jacket. But, yeah, um, they're basically, I don't know, they're a little bit longer than a normal cross-stitch needle, and um, they're sharp they're, um, to puncture through the fabric. Um, but, yeah, otherwise not too different, honestly, yeah, in uh, lengthwise. They are stronger so that they don't really bend as much, because um, if you put a lot of stress on a cross-stitch needle, like, they do bend. But these are pretty strong. So, and I don't really know like what kind of metals these are or anything, but um, yeah, just I'm using the embroidery hand, Singer hand needles. But yeah, okay. And then the last project that I worked on um, is like a new craft, I guess. Um, I knitted a really long time ago, but I never really knitted anything. Um, like in particular, I guess. I knitted a couple hats, but um, I always knitted them on straight needles. And so they, I don't know, I feel like they would have been better if I did them on circular needles, but um, also any other things I made were just like completely random. Like I didn't use a pattern or anything like that. So anyway, um, I have had an interest in knitting socks for the longest time. And Megan, the, um, the Seattle stitcher, she is a big knitter. And there was a, there's a yarn store in Cincinnati called Hank, which is where we went. And, um, there's their address right there if you're interested. Um, but so she wanted to go to the yarn store and I was in, um, Bridget and the, the museum stitcher, she also knits and she was interested in going. So our little table, our little table crew went to uh, Hank to get some yarn and uh, me and my new friend Maddie uh, decided that we wanted Megan to teach us how to make socks. So, <laughs> and I will talk more about my friends uh, when I talk about StitchCon, but for now we're just going to talk about the socks. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, so I ended up buying um, a skein of this fingering weight yarn. I think she put the label in here. Yes. So I can maybe tell you what it is for any of you who are also knitters. Um, but this is Ba Yarn La jo Joya. And it's a 100% superwash merino. And this was 115 grams. And it's called Your Heating Heart is the color. So it's this beautiful, like, speckly purple um, color. So, and it was nice because um, they sold them, like, on hanks like where it's like twisted all together but they actually like caked it up for us so that we could start working with it that day um and then i also got these um sh haya haya um sharp uh circular needles and they're a size us 1.5 and i got the 32 inch so megan wanted to get us some nine inch circular needles so that we wouldn't have to like split our sock but um, we ended up getting, they didn't have those, so we got the longer ones so that we could do, I think, what's called the magic loop method. <laughs> but basically, like, this is all, like, the cable, and my sock is, like, split in half. So it's, it's a full tube, like a sock would be, but um, you basically just, like, keep trading the needles so that um, you can stitch it in the round. Um, but, yeah, this is my sock. <laughs> um, so I have... This is probably like just over an inch of uh, two by two ribbing for the cuff. And then I have maybe like half an inch of the sock like that will go on my leg. And yeah, so it's been really fun. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm definitely going to admit, I haven't run into any issues yet, but um, I have a feeling that I will have some struggles trying to do the heel flap and gusset and gonna be sad that I can't just like give my sock to Megan and have her fix it for me. <laughs> um, but it's okay, cause I have her on speed dial and I can just ask her for help that way. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm really excited about the sock. Um, who knows if it'll actually be a pair or not, but I, I'm hoping that it will be cause um, I am really enjoying this. So anyway, that's my sock. We will see how far it gets um, between next video. Probably not that far. <laughs> Okay, so those are kind of the projects that I worked on over the past couple weeks. Um, and of course, the sock and needles and stuff is part of, I guess, technically part of haul as well. Um, but yeah, so I think we can go ahead and get into the bulk of um, my haul and like StitchCon and how amazing it was and everything. So I think first I'm going to show you haul that is unrelated to StitchCon. And that way, when I show you my StitchCon haul, I can just talk about StitchCon and not be off topic if you will so anyway um i guess the first thing that i'll show you is so yesterday um i actually i guess a okay, quick um backstory i guess last year when i went to stitch con i went to weekend b this year i ended up going to a and so there were some girls that i met at weekend b last year that i thought i was gonna be able to see but then i wasn't because i had to switch weekends and blah 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 blah. so i ended up um asking them to meet me for dinner last night um so i could still say hi and see them and yeah so that was amazing i'll pop a picture up here um uh, but i got to hang out with um heather the 20 minute stitcher uh candace from candace k and caitlin my sweet, sweet Caitlin. Um, she doesn't have a floss too, but she is on Instagram as Stitch Read Repeat. Um, and Caitlin is just so, so incredibly sweet. Um, I've never met a more genuinely kind human. <laughs> um, but anyway, I got to Cincinnati a little bit early um, because I had gotten off work early. And so I kind of killed some time at Hobby Lobby because it was across the street from the restaurant that we ate at. And so I bought a bunch of DMC. <laughs> um, I have literally no plans for any of this, but it's just cool to show off because it's like, a, you know, who doesn't want to hold a wad of DMC, you know? But I decided that anytime I need, I just want to scratch that crafty shopping itch then um I will uh just go buy some DMC that I don't have already so I actually have an app or not an app I have a spreadsheet that I use to um track my which colors I have and so I can and it's on google sheets so I can 
view it on my phone and I basically just went through there and anything that says zero I picked up so yeah anyway we're gonna slowly get to a full DMC set just you know one skein at a time <laughs> um, and also I will link that um, little spreadsheet like inventory thing that I use because it's really helpful and it's really easy to use because the person who made it I don't know their name right offhand but it'll be in the description um, they did a really good job like compiling this spreadsheet because all you have to do is like type in what you have so yeah anyway so I got some DMC <laughs> and then um, along the same vein of floss I got my J color and cotton June 2023 thread club and I'm in the three skein club and the colors this month are really pretty I'm in the all colors um, and this is what we got this month so we've got bobbins macrame and patchwork so I just really love that they're so pretty so that will be added to my fancy floss collection <laughs> okay so really quick back to um, the dinner I had with my weekend bee friends um, we ate at this restaurant called Mi Cozumel which is not far from the convention center and it was a really good restaurant um, if you go to Stitch Con and you're looking for a Mexican place to eat at. Um, but they had these like absurd margaritas. <laughs> and so the one I got was called like Cancun Sunrise and it came to my table with like all this like stuff on top and one of them was this little pig. Look how cute he is. And I think he like actually squeaks except for mine has like a little bit of a hole so. I don't think he um. There we go. Anyway, so Wilson just perked up. But anyway, this pig is so cute, and I just had to show it. Um, but anyway, and then um, as I was leaving, Caitlin gave me a really sweet note, and I was like, great, I'm going to cry later. Because <laughs> um, like I said, she's just so nice. But look how cute this card is. Oh, it's washing out because the sun, or how weird this lighting is. It's actually not white. It's like a, like a tan... There we go. That's better. This is how, but look how cute all these little puppies on it. It's so stinking cute. And then of course she said some really kind words to me and then included this little Coraline needle minder. How freaking cute. So I'm really excited to put this on my project. Anyway, okay, back to the video. <laughs> okay, and then I think there might be one yeah, I think there's just one more thing that's not stitch con related. And that is um, a caterpillar cross stitch. So let me make sure the other piece. I think I might be actually. Hold, please. I'm missing one piece of the haul. Oh, okay. I found it. <laughs> um, I had a bunch of bags over here. And so I was trying to clean some of them up. And I left. I just left this part of it in the bag. So anyway. Okay. So caterpillar cross stitch. Um. They are starting a new stitch along. I believe the first part of it comes out next week on like June the 23rd maybe. Um, but this is um, Positivity Lifts. And as you might can tell, it looks like a hot air balloon. And sorry, I'm out of breath because I like ran for no reason. <laughs> okay, so anyway, this is called Positivity Lifts. And like I said, it looks like a hot air balloon. And this is one of their typography patterns. Um, so all the little phrases um, that are gonna be included in this that make up the shape of this hot air balloon are gonna be somehow like positivity, um, inspirational kind of thing. So, and the kit that I got, I think I got 16 count Ada. And so they, it comes in this adorable like little cardboard sleeve and um, these are the colors. So beautiful. They're like bright and pastel all at the same time. I love that. And then, um, the kit came with, um, white Ada, which I actually bought some hand dyed Ada at StitchCon because I wanted to kind of spice it up a little bit, make it more interesting. So, but yeah, these, these colors are so pretty though. And let's see. Yeah, the kit also comes with a needle which you can see there and a little like info card on like how to cross stitch and kind of some like general tips if you've never cross stitched before, which is um, like if you haven't cross stitched before, Caterpillar cross stitch is a great way to kind of get introduced to it all because 
their designs are really cute and simple enough to where you don't have to worry about doing back stitch or any like quarter stitches or things like that and doing a sal is a great way to get involved in the cross stitch community so um yeah if you haven't tried out um a caterpillar cross stitch sal highly recommend doing one um i personally like their typography patterns the best um so i'm really excited about this one and then another super awesome thing about Caterpillar Cross Stitch is they always do matching needle minders for their projects. So this one is a little sun with some clouds and this one's beautiful. Like it is, it is so sparkly. Like look how shiny it is. I just love that. It's so beautiful. And it's heavy and the magnet's really strong. So yeah, anyway. So that goes with the positivity lifts. Um, I am a Caterpillar Cross Stitch Ambassador. So if you want to get this kit for yourself, you can use the code frizzy 10 please um, to get 10% off your order. Um, in addition to the kit, um, they also gave me one of their new products, which is a cross stitch planner. And um, this is something that Sally's been working on for I don't even know how long. I feel like she's been sneak peeking it for a while. But this is what it looks like. And um, it's really cute. It's got a very like hard cover on it. And um, like there's several different types of pages in here that would be really helpful for um, just keeping track of your stitching. Um, but like... There's Sally right there. <laughs> um, but you got stitchy goals. You can put um, a list of your projects in here. Um, there's these little project trackers where you can write down like the name, designer, the floss, and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can keep track of some of your favorite designers, floss tubers, uh, bloggers, Instagram accounts. And then I think what's honest, and then there's also this monthly planner. There's 12 of these pages, and they're undated, so, you know, if you skip a month, no big deal. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then I think what my favorite, one of my favorite things in here is that they have a conversion table already in here from uh, DMC floss to anchor floss. So that's pretty cool. And then there's also some little, um... There were some charts in here for some alphabets. Yes. So I'll just do a quick flash, but there's like, you know, little um, alphabets in here. So if you want to like chart your name into a design or if you want to make your own design or whatever, that's in there for you. So anyway, super cool little cross stitch planner. Um, so if you're in the market for one of those, um, maybe go try that out. But yeah. Um, so I think that's all of my non StitchCon haul. So I think we're just gonna get right into it. <laughs> okay, so um, I really honestly did pretty good. Um, I didn't buy too much. Um, the most expensive thing I bought was this project roll. And um, it really wasn't even that expensive for what it is. Um, it, this was $55. Um, and honestly, I think that's a, a really great deal because I think I think she could have charged a lot more, honestly. Um, but basically, um, I think you can use this for multiple ways. Um, you could use this for just a single project. Maybe you have a jumbo project that just needs some extra care. Um, but for me, I decided I wanted to use it to store all of my full or not, my FFOs that have not yet become. Or, I'm sorry, all of my finishes that not, have not yet become FFOs. Um, so, anyway, it's all rolled up, and um, it has these little ties that tie it together. And, let's see. I'm going to try to show this to you without dropping everything. But, basically, um, you just kind of roll your projects up inside of this project roll. So before I was storing my projects on like a hanger in the closet and which that's fine, but I was getting a little nervous because Piper likes to like jump on the shelving in the closet. And so I'm just scared she was gonna like accidentally claw one of my projects. So anyway, this is a way better way to protect them. But as you can see, you know, you just roll them up in there and then they're all, you know, you once you iron them, like you're rolling them up in here so they're not gonna get wrinkled and then you just tie the little thing shut. So 
anyway, this was fantastic. Um, I can't, I don't remember who made this, but it was in the annex at StitchCon. And um, I believe um, Tiffany from Black Cat Extetry, she makes project bags. Um, she was actually telling us how I think it's a friend of hers who makes these and she doesn't have like an Etsy or anything like that. But um, I have a feeling she might try to start selling them online because there were a lot of people who really liked this product and um, would definitely like to see her be able to sell them online. So anyway, I would just keep your eye out for that um, because it's really cool. So, all right. So, um, the next thing that I bought was, oh, here it is, my bag of things. So, this is literally, um, basically all I bought is in this bag, <laughs> um, aside from that roll that I just showed you. But, um, I got a, like I said, a piece of fabric that I'm planning to use for my, um, positivity lifts. This is a fiber on a whim, 18 count Ada, and I got a quarter yard. Some weird sounds happening outside. And um, this is called Color Happens. So it's kind of hard to show on camera just because it's so um, pastel, but it definitely is, it's like a minty green color. Um, I would, let's probably, I don't know, like a soft pastel mint. Um, but I think this will look really cute with um, these colors for the um, for positivity lifts. I feel like that'll come off of it really well and be a little more interesting than white. So, but yeah, and also like I've been wanting to try a hand dyed Ada because I pretty much always stitch on linen, but that'll be fun. And this is like, I think I'm actually only need like an eighth of a yard for that project. So I'll have some leftover to do with something else. So that's exciting. And then I also got some, um, so at the StitchCon Annex, they had, that's where all this stuff came from, by the way. I don't think I bought anything at Keepsakes. Um, I just bought stuff from the Annex. But um, this year they had Forbidden Fiber Floss and um, almond m &Ms floss. And so I got some of the Forbidden Fiber floss. Um, and with, I, it, the project I have in mind for this is my Love Boat sampler, because I'm not 100% set on the blues that I have. So these are the blues that I got. Um, these two are the same color. Um, I'll just put this one inside. Because I, the for the Love Boat sampler, the dark blue is used a lot in the bottom, and I didn't want to run out. So if this works out, then I want it. I wanted to have those colors, but yeah, I think these will be so pretty for that. Um, the dark one is called Sapphire, and then the light one is called Steel Blue. And I don't know if you can really tell, but the Steel Blue actually has like little flecks of lavender in it, which is really pretty. So yeah, so I got those. And then just a few more things. I got this um and i already opened it because i let maddie borrow it <laughs> um but this is called the unstitcher and it basically is like um a needle with a handle on it so like a dull needle with a handle on it so that you can um frog your stitches um let me see if i can get this out of here yeah so it comes like this and can you see that it's just like a little needle with a handle, and so it's just a little bit easier for you to hold to kind of pull out your stitches. Um, I think they tell you on the back of this to like cut the top stitch and then use the unpicker to, or the unstitcher to unpick the rest of the stitches. So anyway, I'm excited to use that, but not excited to frog. <laughs> I don't know. And then I also got a StitchCon needle minder. This says from Mag Friends accoutrement designs um so yeah anyway like that and then the last thing that i bought was about one Teresa kogut chart um this is whimsy witch's angry house um here let me take this out she can't really see it um i have the other chart that's kind of similar to this um and i don't know what it's called but it's like the little witch that's doing like a handstand on a pumpkin and so I needed this one to go with it. Um, so she's adorable. 
and I'm excited to stitch that one day. Who knows when that will happen. But I wanted to get that one kind of when it came out. I think maybe, was it Market earlier this year or something? Um, but I think everyone loved it, so it was sold out. And so I was like, it's okay, I'll just buy it next time I see it in person. So that was at the annex. Okay, so that is um, things I purchased. Um, I definitely have some haul that were like gifts. Um, so the first one that I want to show you is this amazing gift from my friend Alexis from Alexis My Amazing World. And um, I got to hang out with her at StitchCon and she made me this adorable like stitching mat. So um, it's got like this little ribbon to keep it closed when you're not using it. And um, it just unrolls and let's see, it goes this way. Um, but look how cute! So it's got like um, some felt right here to put any like scraggly threads that you're maybe not quite done with. Um, she actually sewed like a, a magnet in here where you can put your needle. Um, there's a couple pockets over here that you could put like scissors or floss drops in or something. And then this is probably the best part. It's like a little ort pouch. So, um, and I still have some orts in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you just kind of open it up and have it sitting on your table and then you could just stuff your orts in there. So I'm really excited about it. I, because uh, funny enough, I was talking about how, making one of these like right before she showed up and then she pulled hers out and set it down. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. And she was like, I made you one. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> um, so that was really exciting. Um, I think um, Megan, she, so she made some for uh, Megan and uh, Bridget. And I think Megan like, put hers like over the arm of her couch and I'm gonna have to copy that because that's genius and then I can have the little Oort um, pouch right there so anyway and it's got this adorable like little garden fabric on the back oh so cute it's adorable I love it okay so again uh, got lots of little freebies from people um, this was the StitchCon tote this year um, it's ginormous I love it and it's like this really thick felt material and um, it's just a big giant open tote. So basically anytime someone came by and was like, here's a little something, I just put it in this bag. So it is very chaotic in here. I'm definitely not going through everything um, because that would be ridiculous because there's just so much in here. Um, but I didn't... Um, I guess noticed some trends this year so um, last year I feel like floss drops were all the rage everybody was passing them out and there were definitely people still passing out floss drops this year but I feel like the more popular thing this year was um, like these like floss wands and this one is from the lovely Carrie at Tiger Lily Designs um, I got to meet her. She's such a beautiful human. Um, but anyway, it's basically like this little mascara wand. And when, you, when you're when you done frogging your stitches and you have all that fuzz left over, you can just use the wand and kind of brush it over your project and it'll pick up all those extra little fluffies. Um, so yeah. There were lots of people who handed those out. And honestly, I'm really glad that I have multiples because um, it. I imagine it would be kind of hard to get all of the floss out every time so um you know anyway so there were a few people who passed out those and then um i also got to meet abby from the top knot stitcher and she was passing out these adorable little like glasses microfiber cloths um with her uh, shop logo on there so that's really cute and let's see more of those little floss ones more floss drops um as part of our Stitch Con bag, we also got a coaster that says Ohio on it. Um, and then we got, let's see, oh, somebody passed out some stickers. Um, Maddie from Kitty Stitch made these adorable little tomatoes. They're so cute. Oh, adorable. And um, another cool thing is they actually had the, um, what is the word? I guess the publisher, not the publisher, the, 
editor. The editor of Just Cross Stitch Magazine was at StitchCon this year um, to kind of interview some people and kind of get a vibe for what StitchCon is and how people have come together and formed this wonderful community. Um, so we got a copy of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. This is the June 2023 copy. And there's a bunch of cute charts in here. So that's really fun. Um, and then there was somebody who was passing around some stash that they didn't want anymore, but they kind of were letting other people look in it before they just dumped it on the uh, freebie table. And so I ended up picking up this um, Acorn Hill by Little House Needleworks. Um, and I think this is adorable. And the reason why I decided to take it was because the quote here says, leaves are falling, the air has a chill, autumn is coming to Acorn Hill. And when I read that, it just reminded me of All Too Well from Taylor Swift. So I will definitely be switching out those words for, I think it's like, like autumn leaves falling into place. I can't remember the weird lyrics, but um, I'm going to replace it with that little line from All Too Well because it would be perfect for this. And the house is adorable. So... Anyway, love that. And then, what else do we have in here? Um, Liz from Liz Matthews. Also got to meet her again. She's so lovely. Um, but she passed out these little um, pencil bags. And they're made of that, like, um, plasticky, like, Amazon bag uh, thing. But anyway, she put, like, a little postcard in here with her... Um, branding on it and then she's got like a little kit in here that's like so helpful so there's um let's see she put in a skein of ecru which is always helpful um a little um highlighter to mark off on your chart um some little sticky notes and then she also put in a glass nail file like that's legit yo look at that so anyway I just love how creative people are and like what they think of to put together for these little packages to give to people because it's just so thoughtful. But anyway, there's loads more stuff in here, but like I said, I'm not going to go through every bit of it because that would be a lot. Um, but yeah, so now I just kind of want to talk about my friends because I love them. <laughs> So, oh wait, no, I forgot. I did the Smalls Exchange. Let's talk about the Smalls Exchange. Okay, so I participated in the Smalls Exchange this year and I made, um, I will put some pictures up, but I made, what is it called? I think it's called Circle of Friends um, by Heart and Hand. I always get Heart and Hand hands on design mixed up. But it's by Heart and Hand. And um, so this is what my small looked like. Um, I stitched this on 28 count, picture this plus linen in the color Echo. And I stitched it with like hot pink, like, I don't know, DMC 602 or something. And then the back of it, I used some like hot pink um, florally fabric and finished it into a pillow. Um, and then I also, I think in my like gift, I put in like, a friction pen and some gummy worms and some lotion or something but um my small went to a woman named Adrian and um I think that's her name I'm so sorry if that's wrong I think I forgot maybe <laughs> but um she loved it and it was actually really hilarious because and I don't have the picture because I kind of was really bad about taking pictures but um she was wearing hot pink I was wearing hot pink and then the thing I stitched for her was pink so it was just really cute and she was super excited about it so that made me really happy and what was even more funny is that she was actually sitting behind me at um the table next to us which is where like Abby um top knot stitcher and Liz from Liz Matthews um were sitting and she was like I was just like waiting for her to realize that I was sitting right there <laughs> and it was really cute. Um, but anyway, and then, um, so the small I picked, um, came in this adorable little Halloween bag and, um, let's see. Um, she gave me, um, the girl who stitched this for me, her name is Emily Weber and she's on Instagram as emily.weber13. Um, but she stitched this for me. Look how cute. 
So this is a Barbara Anna. Um, I don't know if she, did she write down who? Okay, it's called, oh, I don't know how to say that. Samhain Dreams, S-A-M-H-A-I-N Dreams by Barbara Anna. And it was from a pinch needle primitive stitcher magazine. And she stitched on 16 count twilight silver uh, by fabric flare. So yeah, so cute. And then she finished it on this like little box, which is really cute, that looks like a book. And then on the inside, she put some little secret surprises in there. So she, let's see. There's this skein of, uh, I don't know, Jew design uh, floss called Halloween Fun, and um, it's 100% cotton, so that's really cute. And then she also put in, this is a skein of Bestitch Me hand dyed silk, and it's called Poppy, and there's 20 yards, it says, on the back, so that's a lot. But yeah, super pretty. And I haven't even felt, yeah, it's really soft. <laughs> I've never had any silks, so that's really fun. And then um, put some stickers in there. And then there's like a whole bunch of like little Halloween stickers that she put in here. And then um, she also gave me this really cute needle minder, which I'm assuming is from this uh, Descent Stitch. Uh, but it looks like a little ghost with some flowers on it which totally reminds me of the ghosts from the anti-hero music video. <laughs> and then these adorable scissors that are like rose gold and then with this little um, scissor sheath. So yeah, these are really pretty and they're pretty sharp too. So yeah, like such fun little goodies hidden inside this little book. So I was super, oh, and then she also gave me a chart this is um, from Heart and Hand. It's Halloween Frill. And I believe this is kind of like an extension to Halloween Tiny Town. Um, so super cute. And they also had this model in the annex. So and it, it looked like this. There's like a little box. And I, we were all like, oh my gosh, how did they finish that in that little box? Because it's so cute. But yeah. So that was the small that I got from the Smalls Exchange. So freaking cute. I love it so much. Okay, so I had the time of my life. I had so much fun. And I met so many amazing people. Um, I sat at a table with um, Bridget, the museum stitcher, Megan, the Seattle stitcher, Alexis from my, Alexis, my amazing world, and Maddie from Kitty Stitch. Um, she does not have a floss tube, but we are slowly peer pressuring her into making one. <laughs> and, uh, but she is on Instagram, so... Um, I'll have all them uh, linked and tagged below and whatnot, but such an amazing group of girls. Um, I will put some pictures up as I'm talking, um, but I just, I loved spending this time with them. Um, I've been watching um, Bridget and Megan and Alexis for a really long time, and so finally getting to meet them in person was amazing, and it honestly was like we had already known each other, um, which was so much fun. It's It's amazing to me meeting people online and feeling like you know them and then when you actually get to see them in person it really is just the same like you really do your friends and that just blows my mind because I mean growing up like I didn't really keep up to keep in touch with people online that I knew in real life and so to make friends online and keep up with them is just a whole different kind of friendship and it's really it's a really beautiful thing <laughs> um so yeah anyway um but I had a great time, and I was really sad to see them go. Um, so we're definitely going to have to, um, we're definitely planning to go to some retreat somewhere around the country and all plan to go together so that we can see each other again and stitch together. Um, and I just think that's what's, um, what's so awesome about having so many different retreats to choose from is because, um, you know, we live all... But, just at our table, we lived all over the place. Like me and Maddie are in Ohio and Bridgen's in Texas, Megan's in Washington, Alexis is in Colorado. So um, for all of us to be able to come together was really fun and special. So um, but yeah, and then let's see, I don't know what else I wanna say. <laughs> I just feel very grateful over the past um, couple days um, getting to meet all these people and hang out with them. And I just feel 
like I actually have friends. <laughs> Cause um, being in Ohio has been interesting cause I don't like physically know anybody here. Um, so it's been nice to be able to have friends in a different kind of way. Um, obviously it's never gonna replace like a friend that you can see in person frequently, but honestly, I don't really think that's, I think that's a privilege that a lot of people don't realize that they have, who, the people who do have that. Um, because I feel like the world we live in now, like, it, like we're so, it's so easy to move away to go somewhere and um, it's also easy to, you know, connect with people online um, that I feel like most people's friends nowadays end up just being far away. So anyway, Bobby's in the Air Force. So that's probably gonna be the rest of my life <laughs> having far away friends, but it's cool. And yeah, anyway, I'm ranting now. I don't know what I'm saying. I um, haven't even looked at my notes um, in a hot second. So I don't even know if we covered everything. Oh, I guess we could talk about plans. Um, my plans are my, my Taylor Swift jacket. And um, I'm gonna go pick up my wedding dress. Oh, I cannot believe it. And um, probably going to just stitch what I want when I want. Which I wrote down those initials and it looks really weird. So we woo woo. I don't know. <laughs> stitch what I want when I want. Lots of W's. Anyway, I love you all. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and being supportive and taking an interest in what I have to share with you all. Um, it really means a lot to me that you would take time out of your day to listen to me talk about cross stitch and um, how I feel about random things. <laughs> so anyway, um, I will see you again in two weeks. Friday is probably going to be my new filming day just because that's the day that I have off now and I won't have to worry about um, taking away any time that I might have with Bobby over the weekend. So anyway, I will see you in two weeks. Bye.